WD18 outside Vicarage Road. It's finished Watford 1, Manchester City 2. A really good bit of fight from the lads towards the end there, Shane. We had them on the ropes. I mean, we look at the first half, thought we played well. We, we weathered the storm, as, as you'd say. Um, obviously disappointing to go into the, to the, to, into the break at 1-0. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, the second goal kind of killed the game. But to really give it a good go towards the end, I think you've got to be proud of the boys today. I'm very proud of the boys. I really am. Um, I said in my preview, it's a game I'm 95% expected for us to lose. But not in that manner. I mean, wow. Look at the fight that we had to get back into the game. We'd never expected that. Having seen us play against Leicester, I was dreading today. I was dreading today. I thought first half, a lot of fans have touched on it, to keep City out for 41 minutes. That's fucking impressive. That's very, very impressive. I'm not sure that's necessarily going to be highlighted as much. I thought for uh, their first goal, um, just just a great ball into the box. Sane, I don't know what part of that body it comes off. I think it probably comes off his, you know, the lower side of it. Ultimately, they were looking to threaten. We had one shot on target, I think, in that first half. But Ben Foster, oh my God. Oh, oh. I've, do you know, I've got his poster hanging somewhere. <laughs> for the match day programme, I've got his poster. I will pray to that tonight. The Hornet Shane Shrine at home. <laughs> he kept us in it. He kept us in that game. Are you serious? Triple save, was it in that, in that first half? One, two. It's just, it's unbelievable. Has to be man of the match. For me, hands down. Hands down. There is no one in that team for me today that comes anywhere near close to that. Um, so, the, yeah, and so, and so at half time, I was just like, okay, well, 1 0 down. We were still in it. Second goal went in, I was like, oh shit. It was very early as well. That's what I hated about that second goal. It came too early, I thought that's it, the floodgates are open. But City missed their chances. I think there was a big change in their defence. Company going off, I thought Company actually looked quite solid today. A uh, guy that I think we should have taken a bit more of an advantage of. Otamendi coming on, he wasn't up to speed with the game. You could tell he was struggling a little bit in there. That fight back was fantastic. A lot of fans touched on it. Um, I didn't necessarily agree to some extent. Decore potentially being dropped today. Maybe, because I didn't think he was very good against Leicester, but he gets that goal eventually. I think Gray had to tap it to him twice for him to actually eventually score right. it. But the goal's a goal, yeah. and the limbs were limbs. So, <laughs> you know, and... I have to, uh, uh, just to put in, Shane, is there, one, is there a little part of you that thinks, you know what, if we'd continue that, that momentum and that form and a little bit earlier, we could have maybe got something out of today because it looked like City were really on the ropes. City were so on the ropes. I mean, you looked over at their away fans. Their away fans were sitting there. They weren't singing. They were shitting themselves. I was just, I've just walked up Occupation Road. A couple of City fans walking down, giving us like proper like, wow, mm -hmm. you gave us a game at the end there. They thought, the guys I saw walking out, they thought you, that we were going to equalise. Right, on, on another day, on another day, that ball comes in and Troy heads it in. On another day it goes in, but I've got to berate something today. The passing, shocking, shocking. Dekure in there, I know he scored today, and that's maybe going to be the main headline for him, but he gave the ball away too much. Hughes, get him out of the team. What are you doing? What are you seriously doing? Right side of midfield, it doesn't work. And it's frustrating, because when Delafeu came on, he looked like a guy who actually wanted to play. He looked like, do you know what? I know I was shit against Leicester, it was maybe unfair for me to be hooked off early. I'm going to prove it wrong. And he did that today. Great running down the sides. A little bit of indecisiveness though with De La Faye. If he crosses balls in, takes a shot even. You know, he's, he needs to gain a little bit more confidence. But I was impressed when he came on. Other players today, I thought Pereira, all right. Still a bit iffy in there. But massive shout out. Dominguez Kina. Woo! Happy with him. I want to see him on the bench for, for, for Everton for the foreseeable future. He looked like a guy who knew he was going to get his opportunity and he seized it. He didn't look afraid. Troy almost killed him. But well, when he fell over onto the ball, he got straight <laughs> back up again. He, he knew exactly what he wanted to do. He was very direct. Some good passing from him as well. He did give the ball away once, but he's young. Now, ultimately, we've lost. It's still a loss at the end of the day, but I'm still so very proud of the team today. We go on to Everton. Um, I'm not, I'm not confident. I'm really not. Um, big one. Seeing today, it is, it is, it is a big game. Um, my heart says we can nick a draw. My mind says Silver's going to shut us down. Um, the big game here, though, back at the Vic, is Cardiff. I want to say one final thing. The atmosphere in the last 10 minutes today, superb. 
where was that at quarter past eight this afternoon this evening nowhere standing there. i mean honestly the people around me today in the rookery just stood there like mannequins it's only when we scored do people suddenly get up and start cheering it needs to be like that solidly solidly for 90 minutes because you could see we scored the goal the atmosphere rose as happened against spurs it's not rocket science it's not difficult noise creates problems